Hey folks, welcome back to Arkansas Fishing Videos. Uh, today uh, we've got our final panel painted. Uh, all we lack on it is getting carpet on it, so I'm going to be pulling out the decking um, to start wiring our electronics. And I thought uh, while I was doing that, I would go ahead and uh, I don't think I've done a video on how exactly we framed it and attached the frame to the wood and the uh, the boat itself. And so I was going to do a quick video on uh, what we used. Um, the braces, uh, the wood that we use to attach it to the boat itself, and um, since we have, I'm going to have all the the decking and stuff out. I thought that'd be a good opportunity to do that. So I will stop the video here. I'm going to pull all this stuff out, and um, then I'll I'll uh, kind of show you guys what uh, and gals, uh, whoever may be watching, how we framed it and how we attached everything. Uh, we also had the opportunity to get it out. Um, Easter weekend, uh, the Saturday before, it was a good little warmer day, so we uh, we hadn't had it in the water ever. We leak tested it by filling it with water. When we first got it home, we filled it up with water, marked all the leaks, and then we fixed those once we had all the paint stuff stripped off of it, and um, fixed all the leaks, then filled it with water again, and you know, the leak test, there were no, when we filled it with water, we couldn't find any, but Still wanted to put it in the water just to see if there were any um, spots that may be leaking on it. I had a little bit of water, and I think it may have just um, came over the side of the boat when we launched it off the trailer. Um, but other than that, we didn't have any leaks in it, so um, that was a very pleasant surprise. And I'll show you some video from uh, from the uh, the test run. Motor did well. It's a four stroke. It's a little cold nature. It took a long time to get warm. Uh, it, the water temperature was still cold. That may have had something to do with it. I've, I, my experience with outboards is really two strokes only. Um, but it did take it a little while to, to finally get warm. Um, it would start first pull with the choke on, it would run fine. But when I put the push the choke back in and took it all the way down to a low idle, it took it a long time to warm up to where it would, where it would idle. But other than that, it ran great. We were super satisfied with it. Um, and you know we're excited to get the boat finished and, and get to fishing out of it so i'm gonna stop the video now i'll take these panels out and then i'll, I'll kind of uh, show you the framing and, and what we did there all right folks we're back here uh, i've got the decking out now um, i want to give you one quick tip that i just realized while i was taking this decking out so we had kind of press fitted or just dry fitted the the carpeted panels in here uh, you can see that I, all the holes or any hole that was in this uh, frame I put marine grade sealing in you want to make absolutely sure that stuff is dry before you lay your your carpeted panels on there because you can see the fuzz that it left behind and I had to cut some of the loops out just to get that panel off it wasn't attached at all with any kind of screws or anything it had just that marine grade sealant was still a little bit wet and it just adhered to that carpet and you probably could get away with not i mean it was stuck down to the point that it was I, you know it was like it was screwed down it was holding down that tight so anyway make absolutely sure that stuff is dry if you're using it i didn't uh the the 5200 that i got was not the quick set I, that this is the stuff it normally takes a couple of days for it to dry they make they make a a, um, a 5200 that dries and cures i think in like 24 hours but this this normally takes a few more days and those panels had been in there um, a couple of weeks so they had adhered to it so there's your tip for for uh for the day so anyway we used uh two by threes and i got these at home depot um, i did have to look around for them not every lumber yard carries two by threes and we went with two by threes just to try to save some weight um you know i don't know the weight difference in a two by four and a two by three but um you know the, the number that we're using in here we did want to try to save a little bit of weight so um everything it's you know every tube of three or every piece of wood in the boat has been painted with two coats of the bare enamel and i think I, i'm pretty sure i showed that in another vi uh, video uh, if not i'll put a link to it in the description below but two coats of the oil-based bare enamel just for some uh, water protection and then we did i just framed it we framed it up with these tube of threes the connectors that you're seeing right here are just I got these in the um, the decking section like where you would buy the 
uh, joist hangers and those things if you were putting a deck on the back of your house. And the only modification I had to make, as you can see, they come with four holes in each end. Um, but where they ended up hitting on the two by three, if I've tried to put a screw up here or a screw down here, it would, it would split the wood. And I did split the wood over there. So I, we had to modify these just a little bit. So we put, I just took a, I think it's a 3 16 drill bit and just drilled a hole right in the middle of them but they're in there solid i mean i could you could lift this whole boat off the trailer with that frame um i secured all these um you know screwed them to the wood but everything that touches the aluminum is held in with an aluminum uh, pop rivet and i'll show you those uh close up of what those look like i got those off of amazon i'm a member of a tiny uh tiny boat nation on facebook group and some i was look you know if you and i didn't know this until we started building the boat but um opposite metals will corrode so you can't put stainless steel with um in, you know a regular steel and stainless steel will will set up a corrosion and so i was looking for uh aluminum or aluminum and stainless steel i guess they'll set up a a corrosion of some sort and so i got on that uh, facebook group and started asking questions and somebody referred me to these pop rivets and every piece of wood is secured down with those braces on this boat is pop riveted with in some places i put we put two um, but it's it's super super sturdy i think we ended up i bought 30 two by threes when we found them because it was kind of hard to find so and they were less than two dollars a piece i don't think they weren't very expensive at all uh, untreated two by threes and then we uh, cut it framed it kind of dry fitted it then we took everything off and i, I painted it or my son painted it with uh, two coats of that oil-based bare enamel paint this will be our tackle storage back here i got two plastic bins from walmart and they sit right inside each one of these holes and they'll hold i think each one of them will hold okay sorry about that i got a, a phone call in the middle of shooting video here so uh, what i was saying is those uh, walmart plastic bins that i picked up they'll hold eight or ten of those clear plastic uh, plano boxes for that you can put worms or you know it comes with like 20 dividers you can divide it up however you want and that's what we're going to use in those storage bins back there and then we've used the same two by threes in the back here to frame it we were going to go all the way to the back of the boat and then we decided against that at the last minute um, this boat's from 1969 and so what we ended up deciding to do was just going back with the lids it, it had two storage compartments back here in the back so uh, we just got a couple cans of um, bed liner from Walmart and sprayed these the lids in the back so the the lids match the the plastic hatches that we have for the rest of the boat so I've got to get carpet on this last piece back here and then cut out the side panels um, for uh, here where the bait boxes are going to be and then back here in this area is going to be uh, a switch panel and the uh, US or radio that has USB uh, and uh, Wi-Fi so we can stream or play music if we want to while we're driving around the lake. My, that was one of the things my son wanted to put in. And, um, you know, I guess it's good to have for weather as well. So we're going to put a put a radio in here. I'm going to do a video on all the electronics and things we're putting in next. So if you want to see that, be sure and hit the subscribe button down below and the little notification bell. And when that uh, video gets uploaded, um, you'll be notified so you can see that. All right, that's going to do it for this week's video. Um, like I said, next week's video is going to be, is going, I took the panels off so we can start wiring it for lights and, and electronics and stuff. And I'm going to go over all the, the things we're, uh, we're going to put in it electronic wise. Um, so if you want to see that, hit the subscribe button down below. Be sh and YouTube has changed it up a little bit. You don't always get notifications, which I know we all get a gazillion notifications as it is. But hit the bell notification down there if you want to be notified with that video gets uploaded and if you'll hang on to the end of the video I'm going to show you a little test run that we had uh, we just video just a few few minutes of that but uh, you can see it's taking it off the trailer and and, uh, and just a, a little run up the river just uh, my son and I um, and I uh, appreciate you guys watching uh, like I said if you want to see next week's video or if you want to see any of the videos from the start of the project you can either hit the subscribe button down below I'm going to put a link up above 
uh, to the start of the project and we'll see you guys next week with a video on the electronics that we're going to uh, put into the boat. Thanks.